morning. We are getting all set for a cabin trip. And I know we use that term a lot around here, but we are actually going to be heading to our cabin that we purchased last year. It's a remote cabin. You have to get to it via snow machine. Hence why we actually haven't gone out this year yet. We went to it several times last winter and over the summer, but we just haven't had a really good snow year. There's not that much snow on the ground and we really need that to get out there. It's also been extremely cold. We've had periods of just really like sub zero temperatures and it's a long journey with our dogs so we don't like to go when it's that cold for them we've got a lot of prep work to do today to get ready for the trip there's a lot of things to take into consideration and eric is actually working on something right now as we speak for the trip there's a lot of things you can do in alaska at a remote cabin this trip we're going to focus on ice fishing we both hope to catch a really big pike that's the goal at least i'm building a little tool here uh it's it's not really a gaff it's it's kind of like a dull gaff this is for lifting a big fish out of a hole just hooking them on the gills so you don't have to like actually stick the fish just put a bolt in a piece of birch here i'm gonna bend it over and we'll see if it works out there i'm gonna throw these pliers in the river when we go out there My little tool is done. Hopefully there'll be a big pike on this thing in the next couple days. We're gonna get a good night sleep tonight. And we're gonna head out in the frozen river tomorrow. Perfect. Oh. Bandit. Come on. Come on, boat. Okay. I'm in your little home. Come on, damn it. Hold on. So we're about a sixth of the way in, 10 miles out of 60. And 
Fortunately, we had problems. Ariel's towing this otter sled, which is pretty heavy. It's quite a bit of gear in there. And she broke her back bumper. It completely snapped in half. So thankfully, we put this little, I guess it's a hitch on the back of the dog sled where we can hook a, a sled to it. But this is plan B. So it's not like foolproof. So we got it hooked on here. Like I said, that otter sled's really heavy. We're going slow and we're gonna, we're gonna go maybe like another 10 miles. And we're gonna do another check on this and make sure we wanna go, go all the way out with this setup because it would suck to break down even further out. But we're gonna give it a go. Break time, we have officially made it past the halfway point. Awesome day out here. We ate a little snack and we packed a little snack for the dogs. <laughs> Actually pretty disgusting. This is raw moose liver chopped up real fine with moose tallow. So let's see if I can give them these. They were frozen, but kind of thawed out a little in that ice chest. Give the dogs a little energy. You want one of those? There you go, dude. There you go. There you go, Bo. Take one of those. You want two? One more for you. Okay, it's sick. The boys. Oh, gosh. Mm. Okay, that was a struggle. Oh, we didn't even get it. There we go. Okay, we're gonna head back out. We have, I think we have over 20 more miles to do till we get to the cabin. The trailer system is working really good. I was a little upset when it first happened. I thought we were gonna have to turn around, but thankfully we did not. That happened to us a few times last season and I feel like we're better prepared this time around. But I think we're gonna be okay and we're gonna make it to the cabin just fine. Like Eric said, it's super warm today. We picked this day for that reason. It's in the 20s and it's just marvelous for traveling. made it to our cabin finally I think it took four and a half maybe five hours I haven't checked the time we had to go a little bit slower than usual with the trailers hooked up that way and Eric's heading across the lake to get our other trailer it looks like there's been a lot of trees that have fallen down since we were out here I think we knew that was probably going to be the case since we had a major a few major windstorms since we've been out here Here we are at the cabin. Well, at least about a hundred feet from it. Looks like we got some downed trees, so <laughs> always an adventure out here. What are you doing, Bannett? You coming up here or something? Oh, uh, <laughs> doing the fake out. It's like, where's my food and stuff? The plan is this trip to get our little sled all the way up to the cabin. We've never been able to take our snow machine with the sled and get it up to the cabin, but we've got this ski do Scandic now, and it's got the wide track on it. We're hoping we can get it up there, but we have a lot of trees down, like I said, so we're just gonna kind of unhook the sled at first and walk up and cut the trees as we go, and hopefully we can make it up there.
haven't looked yet. Every single, every single piece of equipment I have, I don't know about it. <laughs> Not the Scandic. The Scandic burned an entire tank of gas. Man, I have to take it apart then. Sad. pretty dirty but really really what do you mean really it's the wrong size the tool that comes with this chainsaw doesn't even change the spark plug you haven't changed it before on this one yeah uh yeah i've changed it before when i dropped the tree on it it broke it in half and you used a different i just was at home that's a real effective technique. It appears like you're scratching it. service for this for the scraping of this air filter <sighs> depends on how big the saw is something like this 30 bucks <sighs> I'll even blow on it too <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get it let's get up to that cabin Yeah, I think you're gonna have no problem breaking the trail with that and then we can get the sled up. Think so? Oh my gosh, how cool would that be to not have to walk all our stuff up?
think it's gonna work? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't. Probably would have bet my life on it, honestly. It's just way too steep. Uh, no, I already took the gas can out, all the ice fishing stuff, and the water. It's just the slow. The snow's like really, like light, like uh, crystals almost. It's just slipping. She she didn't make it. Oh well. <clears throat> right? Yeah. She made it this far though. Start hiking it up, right? Huh. We finally made it up. Now it's like six o'clock. No, it's probably like three. There's a lot of snow. Well, there's not that much snow actually, but we made it and the cabin's still here, which is the most important part, right? Okay, we gotta eat. How much snow did you say? Two feet? I saw that. I always forget which way that flue goes. I know, me too. I think it actually goes push it in. Got the wood stove going. It's 26 degrees inside the cabin, so that's probably what it is outside. So get this place heated up, left some kindling for us, and we got a, enough wood for this trip, but we'll split some more and make sure we have enough for next time. This little wood stove, I'm loving it. Just gotta. Gotta figure out which way is high on this. Is there any of this stuff you want to keep outside then? In the actual freezer? First off, can we keep all the Gotta keep this place up. Fuel in it. <laughs> it's pretty much good to go. This thing actually works pretty good. What time do you think it is actually? I'm betting we got it right too. 3.30? Like probably 3.30 by now, yeah. 4 maybe? It's frozen. With frozen. Okay. There it goes. You bring that shovel or we have one out here? That came with the cabin. Oh. Hey, Eric. There's perfect snow out here for dessert. Oh, there Sorry. is. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I have. Pretty low snow year this year, since we haven't been out here. Maybe got like two feet of snow out here, but it is now dark, it is probably about seven o'clock. Just got back from delivering beer and coffee to our neighbors that actually live out here full time. It's really hard to get stuff out here. You gotta drive 60 miles on a snow machine to go to the store. So we brought some stuff over there. We are now back at the cabin. 
Heated up great. We're at almost 70 degrees inside. Come on. You can come out here. <laughs> Well, I'm getting hungry for dinner, and we got salmon. But this is this is the dog's dinner. They got to eat too. So, slice them up some food here real quick. a lot easier. Nice stairs. Better than we used to have. We are making moose meatball sandwiches for dinner tonight. These are pre-cooked moose meatballs. We got bread that Arrow made the other day. And we have all of our food inside an ice chest. And not only does this keep our food cool on the trip out here, you know, it's really cold outside, so it actually keeps it from freezing. So it keeps it a good temperature. We're gonna do tomato sauce and a little homemade ketchup in there. All right. Tomato sauce. It's really funny, actually. <laughs> okay, um, so you're saying that I backtracked, which is fine, but I'm just trying to figure out how that happened. Look at this one, you had two. Yeah. You know, six no, tries? No, that's it, I'm pretty sure. No! You only have six tries to solve it? I don't believe those are the rules. Well, I don't know. There's only six things. No, wait, Jose. You don't. You haven't played this game before. There is. It takes a while to crack the code. That is how it works. I am a mastermind whiz. I just couldn't see my thing. Look, look, look. So in this black one, you had... In this one, you had one right. I, that's why I'm going green there. In this one, you had two right. I know, Eric. I know. That's why I tried green and blue. But you said no go. You're doing really good. I don't know how... I'm going to do it when it's my turn. You cracked the code. Only because of what you just said. But you cracked it. Congratulations. Um, I would actually argue you cracked it with me. Welcome to the family. Let me grab the coffee. Can I just say something? Sure. I want to say that there are a lot of things about you. But the thing I was just saying about the 21 questions... Your process of elimination is so flipping high, Eric. I'm pretty yes. sure we need to send you in to be studied on. Because I barely got mine in the five or six tries with your assistance. Did I get it? I got it? <laughs> and you think it's funny? No, that game... You don't think it's like... You don't think that you have some weird, weird psychic ability that you're not telling anyone about? No, I'm telling you right, right now, that game's so hard... I don't even want to play it again. I watched you put those things together with no rhyme or reason. You had no reason to put those colors there like that. I did. That's one of yours. So it's really good. Probably just one. <laughs> I was thinking three, maybe. I don't know if I can fit them, though. Thank you. 
Mm. Yeah, maples. Marinara. Wow. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. Thank you for making, packing such a good meal. Oh, look at that bun. Is it good? Gosh. I've been waiting for this. Just sitting here petting Bo's wig feet. He grows extra long fur in between his toes in the winter months and I find it very comical. So we call him Little Wig Feet. It's safe to say we're happy we made it back out to the cabin and got to enjoy another night and we have all day tomorrow and another night here to spend. I think, I think we're going to go to sleep now. <laughs> Those are just sleeping. We are in business. Got coffee brewing, got breakfast started, cooking up some moose sausage. Last night was pretty good. I think we were both exhausted after that long snow machine ride in. And we got a pretty comfy mattress up there. The wood stove did great. I came downstairs once at three in the morning, put, a, put another log on there. And then by about 7.30 or eight when we got up, there was still a nice log burn in there. So we're loving that little wood stove. Looks like we got a few, well, maybe just a dusting of snow, maybe an inch or so. And I think we're supposed to get a little more today, but it shouldn't be too bad. And hopefully, hopefully it works in our favor for fishing. <laughs> yeah. Did it, was that a birch tree before? Did you see? Oh, that's the bottom line. The cabin, it goes in three. Right there, it's that. What's the one that's out? Hey, come on. That's a birch tree? Sit, sit. out there. What do you think? Coffee time? Yep.
we were bringing two machines and we're staying really far away from each other. Oh, we didn't know we were bringing two machines. How many biscuits do you want to start with? Two. Two biscuits. Well, we pre-made the biscuits at home. Those have a little moose tallow in them. And this is moose sausage, biscuits, and gravy. Oh my gosh. Get a little more. Nice. Thank you. There's a bunch of biscuits extra. It's on river. Oh, um, chef, sure, whatever you want. Um, that is a lot of gravy per biscuit ratio. I shall try it. Did I tell you about that one time? I went to a restaurant and I got biscuits and gravy when I was a kid. Mm hmm. And I got sick. No, the biscuit was rock hard. Oh, yeah. Like I couldn't even cut it with a knife. I've heard that story many times. And what'd you do? Did you eat it? You play hockey puck with it? No, I told my dad. And, like, he told the people, and they were like, we showed him. They were like, oh. The heck? Did you get a new batch or you got something different? I don't remember. Like, they made me leave or something. Well, we got to put gas in this machine. This is our newest piece of equipment to the arsenal. We still have our other two, Aerial Yellow ski -Doo and the Red Polaris, but this is also a ski -Doo, and this is a 2003 Scandic, and this was kind of its maiden voyage to kind of test it out and see how it did on a really long trip. It did great. The, its only downfall is it is extremely bad on gas. This machine, it was towing a heavy load, burn twice as much gas as the Polaris. So that one still has over half a tank. This one is completely empty and they got about the same size tank. But other than that, this thing is a beast. Completely just unstoppable so far. Put some gas in her. In total, we brought our two snow machines completely topped off with gas plus an extra 16 gallons of gas. And I'm glad we brought this extra five gallon can because we're gonna need it if we wanna do any exploring around here. You brought it because of me. Yeah, I know. I wasn't gonna bring it. We'd have to buy gas for $9 a gallon out here. We're all set to go ice fishing. We will see you next time and see how we end up doing.